All right, if you're a B2B marketer and you're leveraging Apollo for your sequences and your outreach, kudos to you because it's a great tool. But hey, there's some limitations, specifically if you're trying to use Apollo and LinkedIn to scale your connections. And I wanted to make this video because this topic, this question has come up several different times, specifically, again, using Apollo and connection requests through uh, to LinkedIn. So let me put up here on the uh, screen here. So this is the question. And again, it's come up multiple times. Wanted to address it. Uh, hey, Jason, thanks for the video. So if you have a large number, 350 plus uh, of tasks stacked up, and we all have seen these uh, these tasks stacked up easily in Apollo, uh, the question comes up and he continues to say, because I assumed Apollo was sending these out automatically and they are not. So that's why I wanted to address that. So if I select and execute all of these with Apollo, sending all of one 350, do I risk my LinkedIn account being flagged? Can you restrict the number of LinkedIn tasks per day in Apollo like you can with email? All right, Jason Campbell, let's get into this. Um, specifically, I'm going to unpack this. There was definitely a couple of different things here. Um, no, uh, there's no automation that's happening for Apollo to do your connection request through to LinkedIn. So it's a task. You've all seen it in there. You have to go in there and you have to manually. So they, they stack up just like this gentleman asked too. So 350 stacked up tasks. There's no automation that's happening. You have to manually go through there and do it. The other thing I want to pack here is specifically, he thinks it's going to get flagged by LinkedIn. So the, the way LinkedIn works for connection requests, you can actually, they, they put a cap already. Um, so you can actually do anywhere from 150 to 200 requests every single week. After that, and it kind of depends on your how many connections you already have. So they have some sort of algorithm like my connection request each week, it's it's 200. Um, some accounts are only 150. So that's why it's in that kind of that I'm mentioning anywhere from like 150 to 200. So it really just depends on your account. So they, they limit you. So there's not going to be any like you're not going to get flagged for this, right? So definitely continue to send out your request but there's definitely a better tool out there. So definitely continue to leverage Apollo for your email sequences. If you've got SDRs that are making phone calls, it's a great tool, um, but there's limitations when it comes to LinkedIn, as I was mentioning. So there's a better tool. I've been using Wallaxi um, for a long time, and there's actually a video that I'm gonna put in the description below so you can actually check it out. It's a great tool. It's very cost-effective. Um, essentially, I'm gonna put it up here on the screen and kind of walk you through it a little bit here too. Um, but essentially, it's a it's an automation tool so you connect it to uh linkedin you upload your list and then again maximizing it at 200 uh the great thing about what i like about Wallaxi is you can send multiple messages meaning you can send a connection request then you can send two other messages right bringing value bringing helpful information uh, you know, being that kind of that trusted advisor in the space. So Wallaxi is a great tool. I'd recommend it. Again, there's going to be a link in the description if you're not using it. There's some other tools out there that I've tested too. Duck Soup is another one. I haven't seen it as valuable as Wallaxi. So as you start scaling your LinkedIn connection request this year and potentially in the next year, try Wallaxi. Um, it's definitely a much better automated tool. Again, Apollo doesn't have an automated tool in there. It's all manual request. They get bogged up, right? And then you have to go through there. So I hope as you plan out your LinkedIn content strategy and your connection request, I hope this video is valuable to you. Bye for now.